In this episode, I'm gonna review the new plugin, Neon and Glow from Luminar Neo, and it's kind of interesting. Luminar sent me their new plugin, which is called Neon and Glow, and I wanna show you what we can do with it. So, like any plugins, honestly, at first, I thought it was very gimmicky, and then I sort of got creative. Actually, what got me creative is an article that I read on Petapixel about this photographer called Ruben Wu, who does a lot of light effects using landscape and lights. I mean, what he does is amazing. Look at this, he's doing like light painting with drones and landscape. I was like, oh, maybe I can try to do that using the Luminar plugin. Honestly, the result is not as good, but it's kind of interesting. For Slurs, let me show you what the plugin can do and what it's supposed to be doing. So here I am in Luminar and I'm gonna take a photo. This is a, a portrait, a self-portrait of my of myself. Let's go to the edit manual and you will see, so Neon Glow is the new plugin, okay? And when, uh, let's start with Neon. When you press on Neon, what it does is that it creates, it does, it detects, and then it creates a Neon around that, which I find it very boring. I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna really use that on portrait, but I'll show you a bit later on what you can do with it, and it's kind of cool. So definitely not using that on portrait, so I'm gonna put it back down to zero, and Glow, Glow is a little more interesting. Look, look what Glow does. One thing I love to do when I do portrait is to add a bit of uh, light behind me. And on this one, I was like, maybe I can use this plugin. So first of all, you just put some amount of glow and then you can choose the whiteness. I want it to be really white, maybe a little less uh, strong, something like that. And then I can go here in masking and I can go to brush and I can go to erase and make a big brush and erase where I don't want the effect to be. I kind of want it just behind my head, uh, as we, you know, I often do that with like a snoop, uh, where I bring light just behind the head, and like that. Voila. And now I get a bit of a glow behind my head. Check it out before and after. I think it's a bit too strong, so I, I'm gonna go back to a glow and lower the amount just a little bit, and it creates a bit of a separation. So that's one use. Uh, I did that also for, this is like a portrait I took years ago of, uh, for a movie. And I was like, oh, I want them to stick out more from the background. So same thing, I can go here to glow and I can add some uh, outer amount. It's gonna detect that there's some two people in it. At first it's very strong and I'm gonna make it more white and then lower the amount. And now there's a bit of separation between the background and the foreground, which is kind of cool. Now check this out. I wanted, on this photo of the Eiffel Towel, I wanted to use a neon. And the neon, you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. So check this out. I'm gonna go to neon, and this time I'm gonna add some neon. And it's gonna add a neon around the Eiffel Towel. I don't really want that. So you can go here to this option called Refine Object. And I'm gonna go to Erase, and I'm gonna erase uh, what is there. I can actually make my uh, brush bigger, okay? And then I can go to Draw. And uh, I'm gonna make a small draw. And I just want a bit of like electric light here. Uh, not so big. So let's undo that. You can undo by going here. Okay, let's do it again. I have to go to Neon, Refine Object. First, first I erase uh, with a big brush. Okay. And then once I erase, I'm gonna go draw and I'm gonna put a very tiny brush. And I just want a bit of electricity here. Here maybe. Uh, just like if there's electricity going through uh, the Eiffel Tower. And um, we can go back to Neon and I can lower the spread and I can make the index smaller so it's just one line. And kind of like if electricity was going through the Eiffel Tower, I thought that was kind of a cool effect. And again, yeah, and then you can always go to Refine Object, Erase, and I'm like, oh, I don't like here. And, you know, and it just makes a very original sort of photo, okay? Uh, let's try to make it with this one, for example. Same idea. I'm gonna go to Edit, Neon Glow, Neon, add some Neon. And then the one thing I'm, I, I wanna show you, so you have, um, I'm gonna go to uh, Indent, make it inside the Eiffel Tower. And then I'm gonna add some atmosphere, uh, maybe a little bit of atmosphere. And then uh, make it a little more white, maybe lower the amount. I just want like to add a bit of electricity and then I can go to a brush and then I'm going to go to erase and I don't like the effect here on that statue. I like what it does here, maybe not here. And uh, and it does a really kind of cool effect. Look at this. 
uh, before and after. It adds a bit of electricity on the Eiffel Tower. But now let's try to do something a little more creative. You know, inspired by the work of Ruben Wu. This guy is amazing. Uh, you know, he does like this drone stuff. I'm going to try to do that here. So I'm going to pretend like a drone made a circle here in Vesterhorn in Iceland. So I'm going to go here, edit. I'm going to go Neon Glow. Or maybe, you know what I'm going to do? Maybe I'm going to go to the develop module and I'm going to lower the exposure a little bit first because I want to relight it like if I was relighting it with a drone. A lot of people are doing this kind of drone stuff. And so I'm going to go to Neon. I'm going to go to Amount. Okay, I can make this big or small. And then let's see here. And then I want to go to Refine Object. Oh, that's where you go to Refine on Edge and I go to Erase. Okay, I'm erasing the object. Okay, and then I go to draw. And I'm just gonna draw the object one time here. And then I'm gonna lower the strands and one time here. Okay, maybe a little more. Like, try to align it. I'm gonna pretend like a drone drew something. Yeah, voila, and, and that's the reflection. Okay, now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna click here, for example, on anywhere. And then I'm going to go back and add a new neon in glow. I'm going to go to glow this time, outer glow, and I'm going to add an outer glow um, that's going to be very red, something like this. And I only want the glow to be around the circles. So then I'm going to go to masking and I'm going to go to a brush and I'm going to make a big brush, erase and a big brush. And I want to erase the glow from everywhere except around the circle so that it just adds a glow just around the circle. You see in red is where there's gonna be an effect. Check this out, before, after. It's adding a bit of glow, just like if a drone was there. And you can get a special price for this plugin. The link is under this video. If you've never used Luminar Neo, Luminar Neo is absolutely amazing. I have a lot of tutorials on it. Check it down below. I'm gonna put a link to my other Luminar Neo tutorials, but they're really cool. This is actually a very funny plugin. Let's do one last, like, okay, this is a shot that I shot. Also, I want to make a little uh, glow around her. So I'm going to go to Neo and Glow. I mean, you get the idea. And let's go, uh, let's add an outer glow on her. So she really stands out. Look at that. Boom. Before, after, if you think it's too strong, you can lower. If you think it's not white enough, you can make it more white. But check it out, uh, before and after. So another project inspired by Ruben Wu, the Antelope Canyon. Of course, what I'm going to do is not as good, but this is one of my best photos of Antelope Canyon. And I was like, what if, what if I made it dark, okay? And then I go to this new plugin, Neon Glow, and then I add a bit of, of neon, and it's going to do something weird. And then I'm like, okay, I actually kind of like what it does here. So let's make it a bit bigger. Yeah, like that. And then uh, I like I like that shape here. I, I don't like everything else, but I like that shape. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to go to masking and I'm gonna go to brush. And I'm gonna go to erase and I'm gonna e make a big brush. So I'm gonna erase this, erase all of that, except that one little spot here, okay? You have to make sure to erase everything. here also. And now I just want to add even more glow due to that spot. So click anywhere else and then go back to this neon glow, go to glow, make sure you take outer and uh, look at that nice glow. Uh, let me get, let, let's make it really reddish, uh, a bit more white. Okay. And then same thing here. I'm going to go to masking. I'm going to go to brush. I'm going to, I'm going to take a big brush. I'm going to erase the effect everywhere except around that light here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm on paint. I need to be on erase. Yeah, that's a mistake I often do when I use Luminar. Uh, so paint is going to add the effect and erase is going to take it out. Okay. And, all right. Let's see if it does anything before, after. Yeah, let's go to paint and then let's lower this. I, I, I really want to paint the glow effect here. Yes. Okay. Now let's refine it. Maybe the amount is a bit big. Yeah, size of the glow. Let's see here. Before, after, before, after. Yeah, and it just, yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, look at the photo. 
before, after. It's just a cool effect, like if I did some light painting in the Antelope Canyon. It's actually a pretty cool plugin. At first, I did not like it, but more I'm using it, more I find it kind of cool. So tell me what you think in the comments and check out my other Luminar video. Luminar is what I use when I can't get what I want in Lightroom. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I have some really cool tutorials coming out on Lightroom and on photography. You don't want to be some of the best I ever made. So make sure you subscribe.